with a, another video and today will be a DIY since you know I really have had nothing to do lately so yeah usually I'll be really busy you don't have time for DIYs but now I'm basically doing nothing so yeah we just gonna do a diy today as y'all could have seen in a thumbnail i don't know if y'all really i don't know if y'all just click on my videos or you know have we made it to that point yet but yeah anyways we're going to be doing a diy today fly it's, it's nasty season but yeah we're just going to get into this video <laughs> All right, so these are what the pants look like. Before I do anything to them, they're just a mess. Like, I'm telling you right there, like right now. They just are so big and they're so saggy. The only reason I really picked these pants up because of the color. I've never really seen pants this color with, you know, the black, a tint of black in it and blue. So I really like the color. So that was basically the only thing that really drawn me to these pants. Because otherwise, they're just huge like look at that it's it's space in the front and in the back so you know it's it's saggy back there real saggy but yeah so basically what we're gonna start by just cutting the little tag off because i'm going to be starting by taking in my waist since i kind of you know could like making a skirt you know the waist isn't going anywhere so yeah, I'm just cutting the tag off so that my elastic band can slip through. So yeah, basically, all you're really going to need is an elastic and some sewing thread. So I'm just seam ripping a hole where the elastic is going to go through. And this is just my starting point. I don't know if this is going to be tight enough, but we're just going to try it and see anyways. So if y'all have the pin and pin it to the one side of the pants and you're just going to safety pin the other side and you're going to start sliding it through and then you're going to pull it tight enough to where it just scrunches in automatically by itself and then you're just going to take your needle and thread and sew the other side so now that i got it pulled through the other side like i said i'm just pulling it tight enough to where it scrunches but like it still stretches so you can get in and out but like i said i don't think this is going to be long enough because as y'all seen before the space in the front and in the back so what i ended up doing was going from side to side corner to corner and just i ended up with just a ruffled waistband which is still cute but i mean if you don't like that, I would suggest, you know, trying to take it in a different method. So, I'm just taking my needle and thread right now and sewing it. And I ended up using a hair needle because I didn't try to, I didn't feel like trying to thread my smaller needles with these nails on. But it ended up taking longer than it was supposed to. But yeah, this is basically it. And now you got you a little scrunched waistband, which is cute. I mean, it's cute. So, after I'm done with that. This is what my waist looks like, real scrunched in. As y'all can see, it's really, really took in. So, yeah, easy like that. So, now we're just going to turn these into shorts. So, I've started out by marking. I tried them on again, and I marked where I wanted to cut. Y'all can see I had my little safety pin there. So, I'm just going to make a slit where I'm going to cut because I'm really bad at cutting in straight lines. So, just bear with me here. So... I'm just cutting a little slit, but I guess it don't have to be that straight since I'm adding ruffles at the bottom. So basically, you're going to need the rest of your fabric. So I cut my skirt, you know, pretty short because I was going to need the ruffles, the rest of the fabric for the ruffles on the skirt. So I mean, it's still going to end up, you know, long. So then I just fold it in half and do the other side the same way, making sure everything, you know, even same same length and y'all if y'all hear some background noise just know that i'm over my 
aunt's house and it's family over so y'all know how it gets so just bear with me so now i'm going to take some scissors after i get done adjusting this i guess and i'm going to take some scissors any moment now all right now i'm gonna take some scissors and i'm just cutting that inside seam make sure make it i can't talk for nothing no jesus but yeah i'm going to take my scissors and i'm just cutting right around that seam making sure because i don't want it to be all frayed and stuff so then i'm going to cut the other side just like that and once i finish cutting the other side i'm going to have to cut the crotch area as well so this part was really hard to cut you might need some heavier duty or scissors heavier duty or some more heavy duty scissors god lee <laughs> some more heavy duty scissors and i'm just going to cut up the little part between the zipper and the crotch and you shouldn't have the cutting thing for the back it should already be you know straight so now i'm just going to turn it inside out where the seams are folded kissing like the good sides are kissing so you're gonna fold this like if you're going to iron a seam and some pants so i'm just taking some pants and i'm pinning straight down and you're gonna make sure you need to try this on you need to make sure that it fits right because if i would have just sewed it like this then my legs would have literally had no space to walk i would have been waddling so after i've tried it on this is what it looks like so as you can see it's not you know perfect but it's not how i had it before so yeah you need you need to try your stuff on and i had a little extra fabric that i really didn't want it was really too long for me so i'm just going to end up cutting that fabric off so i'm going to sew the sides and i'll be right back so now that i finished hand sewing this because my sewing machine is out of order i'm just going to cut off that extra fabric that i was talking about and here i go again trying to cut a straight line so it's probably going to end up not as straight but it's good enough And you're just going to go ahead and cut off the excess fabric as well. And y'all, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit too much in this video, but I'm really just trying to explain it, make sure y'all get it. Well, I mean, if you a sewing guru like me, then you probably can't understand pretty good what I'm talking about. But for people that don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, I'm just going to explain it because this can get a little complicated sometimes. Definitely with people like me narrating that can't talk, but now i'm done and we're gonna move on to the ruffles so i'm taking those extra pieces of fabric that i had left over and i'm just cutting the seams like i did before all the way up because we're gonna need as much fabric as possible so one piece is going to be the front ruffle and one piece is going to be the back so i'm just folding it into a square because you're going to need it to be even mine still didn't come out even it still came out a little bit rectangly so that's why y'all see in a minute that my circle was a little ovalish so yeah you're just going to need to cut this into a square as best as you can and just make sure all your fabric is you know evened up so i was trying to make it as square as best as possible so now that you got your square or something whatever shape it is you're gonna just take a little um tape measure and you're gonna pick a point that you basically want and i just chose any because i measured it and I ended up not having enough fabric so I just had to go down a couple numbers so I ended up doing five and that was enough but if you want to know exact measurements I would suggest going to a video that shows you how to make flounces and that would be good so I'm just going to do the same thing for the larger circle 
um i chose 10 i made it five more inches than the small circle well semi-circle or half circle whatever it is and i just made another larger um outside circle so i'm just going to mark a line because i really need lines because i'm really bad at cutting and i'm just take some scissors and just cut both of those out So now that I finished cutting both out, I ended up with this overly circle, like I said I was gonna have. So it really don't matter, but you're just going to cut it on one of the side seams and see it's already looking like a ruffle. It don't matter what shape it is, it's just, it's still gonna serve the same purpose. So, all right, so now I'm finna start by putting the ruffle good side to good side with my skirt and i forgot to mention that i made two of the ruffle little oval circle things i made two of those and i sewed those together so like i said i have a piece for the front and a piece for the back so i'm just going to take some pins so and like just i pinning. said i'm just pinning them together and once i finish pinning the whole thing front and back I'm just going to sew it and that's all you need to know for making a skirt and you can leave it like this if you want it really is up to you you really didn't even have to add the ruffles if you don't want you can just leave it as a denim skirt and just add the pearls on later or you could just skip the pearls and just have it ruffles you know you don't have to really you know do all the extra if you don't want to so now i'm finished sewing it and like i said before it looks like a ruffle so that's all i need you don't have to be a perfect circle as long as it's, it's serving its purpose so now i'm just fit to take some pearls that i got at the dollar store and they had some flat ones and they had some round ones and they were different sizes so i just wanted some variety so i'm just going to stick them in place to kind of just see where i want the pearls to sit at and for the round ones i'm just going to be pinning them in place with pins to see where i want them before i actually sew them on because trying it on is crucial because after i tried this on i did not like it so i had to readjust some stuff because some of them were too close there were too many in one area so i've already did the front and after you try everything on that's when we're going to you know glue and sew everything so this is what i came up with it's i like it a lot better i like the buttons on the pockets rather than you know between the butt so i'm just going to take some fabric glue nothing fancy it's machine washable all that good stuff and i'm just going to apply it to one side of the flat ones because i didn't want to glue the round ones on because i feel like when i sat down it was gonna pop off and it was gonna be a mess but lord help me with these nails on because i could not pick them things up for anything so i'm just going to sew the round ones on by hand like you would do a button starting from the inside and just going through both holes and tying a knot at the end so guys this is the final result i really like it a lot i think it's really cute and girly and i also added pearls to the bottom as well so yeah this is just the final result don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and yeah guys i will see you guys next time peace